guys welcome back to my channel but since it's july and miss diana's birthday just passed a few days ago um i want to kind of commemorate the occasion and do a video on princess die so princess diana has been one of my role models as it is for many many young women and just women in general for a long long time i wrote a college essay on her it was like the classic question of like one person living or dead that you could have dinner with and like miss alec absolutely it would be princess diana like i would just love just like love to have meet her and just like been on the earth at the same time as her um she unfortunately passed away in 1997 as i'm sure you know um and i was born in 2002 but i still kind of like from a very young age i was very my parents like pop cultured me if you will um and i knew a lot about princess anna and i've always been kind of drawn to the royals and such my mom actually just got me a magazine um that she found at a book sale that's like it's just a princess anna magazine and i'm obsessed with it um I just think that she is great. I had the pleasure of going to London in 2017 and it was right around her birthday. I think it was just a few days short um, and there were beautiful things up on the gate for her commemorating her life and I will show you guys some pictures of them uh, but I just love her. I think she stood for really really great things. It was an incredible human um, and not only was she an incredible human and did great things for humanity and society but girl was a fashion icon and that's what I want to talk about today because mm, her fashion changed the world let me tell you um so today I'm going to be ranking her best outfits in my opinion so yeah this was a super fun project for me and video idea because also in 2017 when I visited Kensington Palace and I'm so grateful that I got to take that trip with my family like oh my god um, they had the fashion exhibit, and I got to see her dresses in person. Let me tell you, it was life-changing. Like, it, it's just, there's something so, like, freaky and, like, cool about seeing someone that you look up to, like, their outfit in person, like, that she wore. Like, these iconic, iconic outfits. And I'm going to talk about some of them because I'm just so excited. Um, these weren't all at the exhibit, but these include, like, royal style, street style, post royal style i got all i got all of the categories covered so i'm going to name the title of the outfit like what it's kind of been deemed as or what i'm deeming it as i'm going to put a picture and then i'm going to rank it out of 10. so here we go so the first one and probably the most iconic like arguably the most iconic diana outfit of all time is the black revenge dress which is what it's deemed as by society so this dress was worn shortly after all of the stuff went down with prince charles and princess diana and it's called the revenge dress because it's very form-fitting it's black and it doesn't really match the royal dress code which is pretty strict um but she looks so so good in it like what a power move so i'm ranking this a 10 out of 10 obviously like look at it next one is the iconic sheep sweater i mean it's it's obviously withstood the test of time because lots of people have like kind of paid homage to it one of them being harry styles if you can see this picture and for this outfit being iconic i want to rank it high but it's also not like my favorite outfit ever like if i saw it out on the street today and like princess anna didn't wear it previously i'd be like kind of iffy about it like it's cute <laughs> but you know what i'm saying i i do like it i'm gonna rank it like a seven i think that's a good number next outfit probably her most iconic street style um is the harvard biker shorts which is what i'm deeming it as i'm calling it the harvard biker shorts outfit because you know i'm creative but like this is like so in style right now um and honestly it's probably thanks to princess Diana. like she looks good everybody wants to look like her um and it's pretty good street style i'm gonna rank it a 9 out of 10 and it's withstood the test of time because like everyone's wearing it now next is her wedding dress i mean she's a royal i have to talk about her wedding dress so here's a picture of it for the 80s it's a pretty standard like not standard beautiful beautiful wedding dress um designed by the guy from Say Us the Dress, what's his name? David Manuel. Beautiful, like beautiful for the 80s. Um, I'm gonna give it like 
out of royal out of royal dresses it's not my favorite i'm gonna be honest i am obsessed with kate middleton's dress like her wedding dress was so pretty so i think i'm gonna rank diana's wedding dress like an 8 out of 10 8.5 8.5 Next is the iconic, I mean this dress truly is iconic just because of the moment that she wore it at and it's the blue Australian dress that she wore when she was dancing with Charles. Um, this is a very big scene in The Crown if you've seen The Crown but I really really actually do like this dress like I could see it on like the Oscars red carpet today. Um, I like that. I don't know like the only thing that I'm not super big on is the belt But I love the skirt of the way like it flows when they're dancing and this is just iconic because she was dancing with Charles I mean she looks great in it. She's like a freaking supermodel um, I'm gonna rank it a 9 out of 10 Next is what is deemed as the Elvis dress. Here's a picture of it. This one is highly highly popular because it's in many um, photographs of Diana like a lot of times if there's like magazines on her or um, like things about like her legacy and stuff they use pictures of when she was wearing this Elvis dress um, it's very pretty it's beaded um, definitely fits like the royal dress coat with the coat it's just elegant it's very elegant um, and I like how sleek it is I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna rate this one an 8 out of 10 um, yeah I don't know I like it I think it's cute next is Diana's White House dress so she wore this dress um, when she went to the White House dinner and she was dancing with John Travolta, which you've probably seen in this picture before. So this dress appears to be black, but I'm actually sure, I'm pretty sure it's like like a pretty dark navy blue, especially because she's wearing the iconic Diana jewelry that um, I believe is the matching set of Kate Middleton's engagement ring or wedding ring. Um, I think it's like in the same set that I mean like I don't know I'm just assuming um, so I'm pretty sure this dress is navy and it looks to be like velvet and I like that it's like not off the shoulder but it's like off the shoulder enough to fit the royal dress code you know um, and the fact that she was dancing with John Travolta in this dress is just iconic so I'm writing this one a 9 out of 10 literally none of these are in a yellow scores because it's Diana so the next dress is this white Versace cocktail dress. So she wore this dress in 1995. Um, she looks phenomenal in it. It's very, very pretty on her. Very like, still very elegant, classy. It's just plain white. Um, so I'm gonna rank it like a seven, even though she looks good in it and it's Versace. <laughs> um, but it is just plain white. Like it's pretty simple compared to some of her other fashions. So I'm gonna give it a seven. Granted though, all of these clothes are gorgeous and I would kill to be in them. Um, I'm just, this is just my personal opinion, don't come for me. So this next dress is a Catherine Walker dress and it is just nude and it's beaded and it has floral print on it. I actually really like this and I could definitely see it like being worn to like the Met Gala or something now. Um, I think it's very timeless and very, very pretty. I'm gonna rank it a nine. This next dress is also a pretty iconic Diana dress. I feel like it is the blue Swan Lake dress that she wore when she went to go see Swan Lake the ballet. Very cocktail. Um, it's a super straight neckline. It's a tank top. The blue shoes are gorgeous. The jewelry she had paired with it is gorgeous. I love the Cinderella color on her. It's beautiful. And she just looks good in it. She just looks good in it. And it's I'm going to rank it a 9. The last outfit that I have is actually from this picture, which I have on my wall over there. She's like looking at me right now while I'm filming this. Hey girl. It's my favorite picture of Diana. I just love it. She's just wearing like a pink sweater with pink checkered pants. Um, it's not my favorite Diana outfit. It's not awful. It's just not my favorite. I think I'm gonna rank it like an eight. But like out of all of these outfits, it's definitely not like in the nine or 10 range with like the black revenge dress, you know what I'm saying? So yes, that is all for the fashion that I wanna talk about today. If you guys want more Diana videos, I would be happy to do them because there's so much to talk about with Princess Diana and her impact on the world and just how wonderful of a person she was. Um, and right now, especially Diana, is on everyone's mind. Not only because of her birthday that just passed, but also because of her death, which is coming up, the anniversary of her death, which will be coming up in August, which is really sad. Um, and it just, it's heartbreaking. Um, but I think it's important to remember her legacy and her impact on the world. And one of those impacts is fashion, because 
she's a royal and she was the most famous woman in the world for a really 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 long time and like still could be one of the most famous women in the world um I just love her and I think she's a great role model for young girls and women um and I think that she deserves a lot so thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye